Hi, I'm Katherine Reynolds Lewis. I'm the founder of the Institute for Independent Journalists, whose mission is the financial and emotional sustainability of freelancers of color. I had an experience today that I wanted to share. A friend of mine and colleague, a longtime journalist who's been a full-time freelancer for more than a decade, said she loved the programming for the IIJ's conference coming up on March 9th and 10th, but she wasn't sure if she should come, if she would be welcome. So first of all, this is frustrating for me because all of our programming says, promotional material says, everyone's welcome. And that means everyone. Everyone is welcome at our conference, which is going to be 12 sessions of business information, meeting editors, learning about fellowships, generating more revenue, pitching clients, inspiration, learning about power and privilege, live online, interactive. But more important, this again reminded me that for white journalists, it is a new experience to be in a space that is predominantly people of color. And that can feel uncomfortable. So I would invite those of you in that situation to come and sit with that discomfort and recognize for many of us in the world, we sit with that discomfort all the time because the leadership of our industry doesn't look like us. So yes, we welcome you to come to the conference. Your registration supports our mission of sustaining freelancers of color. And you can do that by contributing to the conversation, by paying attention to when you're taking up too much space and to learning to step back, to being part of the community. And we want to build strong network networks across racial and other types of identity, gender, disability, geography, socioeconomics. The stronger our networks are and the more diverse they are, the better. So for me, I'm biracial. And that means in some ways, I don't really belong anywhere. I used to say as a child that when I was with my Chinese friends, my hair looked brown. And when I was with my white friends, my hair looked black. And it would be easy for someone who's multiracial or biracial to feel you don't really belong anywhere. For me, unless it's San Francisco, where there are many, many mixed race, Asian and white people, there's not a lot of spaces where everyone shares my racial identity. But instead, I try to flip that and see myself as having the right to be anywhere for the most part. Um, unless it's an explicitly um, a space explicitly designated for a certain identity. And I just have more responsibility to be sensitive to if I'm being read as white, uh, understand what that means and when I need to step back or ask for permission or maybe listen and pay closer attention to how I'm having an impact um, and learn. And sometimes there are opportunities that I shouldn't jump right in and try to grab and I should step back and let someone else have that opportunity. And that's a wonderful growth area for me. And I would welcome those of you wondering if you should come to the conference to jump right in and um, and allow it to be a little uncomfortable. You're going to learn a ton. We're going to have so many amazing speakers, 40 plus speakers of color, um, but freelancers, authors, consultants, teachers talking about how to thrive and succeed as an independent journalist on March 9th and 10th. Our keynote speaker on Thursday is Stephanie Fu, author of What My Bones Know, and she'll be in conversation with Lee Tron, author of House of Sticks, both fabulous memoirs I highly recommend. And on Friday, our keynote speaker is going to be Lynette George, author of A Handful of Earth a handful of sky the world of octavia butler and both of those conversations are going to be about writing and identity and creative life it's going to be so wonderful plus the 12 plus sessions that we have on everything from negotiating contracts to setting your rates podcasting photojournalism inter interrogating power and privilege and we're going to have editors speaking about what they want in a pitch from the atlantic the guardian the new york times the wall street journal wired the verge prison the emancipator cnn i know i'm forgetting someone so highly um encourage you to ask questions on this um, live if that's helpful or send us questions by email at info at the iij.com and we'll hope to see you on march 9th and 10th again everyone is welcome whether you are a full-time independent journalist whether you're a person of color if you're white disabled no matter your gender identity sexual orientation geography 
I know I'm leaving out a main identifier here, but um, we want you to come, whether you're in it already, or you're curious, or you're somewhere in between, or you're part-time, we really look forward to learning with you and together to creating a more sustainable environment for independent journalists, both in the financial sense and also in the emotional community sense. So hope to get more questions and I will answer them. See you on Thursday.